So uh, about three months ago, I did a video about uh, Codecademy Ready, the freelance website development, which you're, you're looking at here. Uh, in there, I kind of review the syllabus and I, I explain my thoughts on if this is worth your time, your energy, and your money at the end of the day. Because a lot of us are students, a lot of us are trying to get in a better situation, and $500 plus is a lot of money to be paying for this. Now, at that time, I was really critical about a couple things. One, that they didn't cover JavaScript or jQuery at all. There is zero, zero, um, zero aspects of this in which it covered anything uh, job, anything that involved JS. And I can tell you right now, when you use the word development, you must have JavaScript included. And the other thing I really had an issue with was that this freelance word in front of here because I kind of feel like it's misleading. It's it's kind of leading people down this idea that, yo, I'm going to take this eight week $500 course and now I'm going to be a freelance web developer and, you know, I can start working from home and being remote and like with no emphasis on the freelance aspect, nothing on there to explain how to get freelance clients, uh, how to build a strong portfolio to attract freelance clients and things like that. Um, and the more so the JS aspect was really good. And you see here now, um, they've reworked their course slightly and it's a slightly better course. Um, and I'll, I'll tell you why in a second, but you'll see now they have this nice proudly displayed JavaScript and jQuery, um, Git, CSS, command line, HTML. Okay, cool. Uh, let's let's go ahead and scoot down and, and look at what you're gonna have at the end of here and what you're gonna be working with. Now with the HTML and CSS, perfect, I love it. Spend a week on both. Uh, this course is designed to have about 10 hour weeks. Um, I think these are both good sections. Command line and Git, okay. Uh, I'm glad they combined it in one week. That That's cool, because I don't think you need more than a week to get the basics. More CSS, layout, responsive design, design principles, a lot of design going on here. And this was kind of one of the things I talked about in the previous one was it was all HTML, CSS. You start your project and then week eight, week eight, on the final week, they just throw you in JavaScript, throw you in jQuery. But I think the problem was they probably got a lot of feedback saying, look, this isn't a website. This has nothing to do with development. This is design maybe. Um, you could definitely design some websites from this, but that's not where the big money's at. And will this be enough to get you started? And the fact that they combine jQuery and JavaScript in the last week is kind of scary. Cause if you're, if you're taking this course, you are a beginner, hundred percent beginner. Now I, 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 uh, I reached out to code Academy and said, Hey, do you want to let me take this course for free so that I can go through it and evaluate it on my own? Um, cause all I can go off of is the syllabus and a couple comments on the previous video. And we'll, we'll show, uh, that before and or in, in a second, but the gist of it is, is you spend seven weeks learning design. Cool. Uh, you learn and oh, also how to deploy to Git, which could take you a, a 10 to 30 minute video on YouTube at most. Okay, so you spend seven weeks learning design, and then in the eighth week, you are going to learn JavaScript or J and jQuery. Not only not only are you going to learn uh, a logical language, which will more than likely be your very first language, you're also going to learn a framework to use for that, which is pretty pretty absurd, uh, in my opinion, that they kind of just jam this in here, but. They have to because it otherwise is not website development. Now, what are the projects? Cool projects. I don't think you're going to be able to understand most of them if this is your first course. Um, if I asked you what API stood for right now, could you tell me? Probably not if you're new, right? Um, and that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with not knowing how to do this or how to use these things or... Uh, but the fact is it's preying on people that, hey, you can become a web developer in eight weeks for 500 bucks. You don't have to go to a boot camp or you don't have to go and uh, devote hours of your time or anything like that. And it's even, even what's going on here, this last, let's just go ahead and throw this in here and hope for the best sort of idea isn't that great. 
and you can see like oh cool so some people made some cool stuff all right nice they have they have uh 80 hours of lessons projects seminars and one-on-ones so you're expected to put 10 hours a week in there and to put put it in perspective uh the way that you know this doesn't sound this 80 hours of okay how much time are you actually spending with your mentor 30 minutes a week so for 500 dollars, you get 30 minutes a week with this with this teacher one-on-one -on -one. If, hey, you want to hire me for eight weeks, 30 minutes a week for $500, let's go. You got my email, you can message me, and I'll do it just fine. Uh, but the point the point being is, just, you're not going to get the amount of help you're going to need for this. And full refund in the first two weeks, okay. So if you realize that it's, it's going to suck in the first two weeks, but it doesn't. The first two weeks are actually fairly decent, right? You got HTML and CSS. If it were up to me, um, this would either be longer and you'd have more time with the mentor or you would cut out some of this other stuff, fuck the design, and get into the real meat and, and potatoes of development with his JavaScript libraries, front-end, and front-end technologies instead of just the, the, the bare bones. Um, and, you know, they have a nice success story. Of course, they do with a beautiful girl. I'm not, not too surprised by that. But uh, the one thing I wanted to share was, and I, I've asked uh, in my previous video, that's uh, about three months old, I evaluate their syllabus. And, and the, the, in all fairness, this new syllabus, much better, much better than the previous one. Um, and one thing I didn't like about this was I had to search really hard, but I remembered I got an email saying that you can actually do this one for 200 bucks. For two hundred dollars, you can do can do this, but you get no mentorship except they will review three projects of yours that you build along the way. That's basically the main difference. I found the e let me pull up the email right here so you guys can see it. But the gist is, for five hundred dollars, you get that one on one mentorship where it's thirty minutes a week, um, and then um, for two for two hundred bucks, uh, you'll get critiqued by their team of experts. Uh, during the program, right? So I don't, I don't know how long those critiques are, um, but you don't get the mentoring. And one, one other thing is that uh, Joe Montana here, who's been, I've seen him comment on a couple of videos in the past. But when uh, my, 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 as you can see, I'm not very positive of this. But his take was, as someone who attended Code Academy Ready. And I asked to interview him, by the way, so I'd, I'd like to interview him or anyone else who has attended and can show proof of it, right, a receipt or whatever, so people don't think we're bullshitting. Because right now, this guy could just, for whatever reason, be making it up. I don't think he is, uh, but there's always those people who will say that. Uh, as someone who attended Code Academy Ready, I fully agree with this video. It is a money grab. The mentors are a joke. You get 30 minutes with your mentor every week for nine weeks. When I had doubts at various sta stages, they don't seem well qualified to answer my doubts. My mentor even suggested to Google my doubts. Most of the mentors, I think, were previous students at Code Academy. When I came to Flexbox and, under lesson and other lessons, my mentor told me the subjects are even tough and confusing for software engineers, so don't worry if I don't understand it. Like, that's going to make me feel comfortable. So, this is just one person's take on it, and again... Uh, I'd like to interview him and uh, show proof that he's done all this. And I, I, uh, you can see right here, I, uh, I asked him. This was 20 minutes ago, which is why I wanted to do this video. And people have been asking me to follow up with it. But I, ju I just want, will you get something out of this course? Yes, you will. You will, you will build yourself some projects. You will get some videos. You will get 30 minutes of conversation with somebody who may or may not be super qualified in that. Um, I, one thing I really don't like is saying that, um, you know, not to worry that you don't understand it. Uh, that's, that's, that's rough, man. Cause you're getting the base. You're supposed to be getting a core foundation from this, which is, I, which is what I would expect from this. And, you know, I, I don't know. It's, it's, this isn't a course that's, you would learn more, more going to freecodecamp.com and just building the projects out that they have on there and doing their tutorials. And I've heard from other students that basically the way that they tell you to practice is by doing their free content. <laughs> so it, it, it's do with it what you will. That's my take on it is that um, you're probably going to be wasting $500 for 30 minutes of uh, 
someone who doesn't, according to Mr. Montana here, uh, wasn't super qualified. But you never know. Um, just my two cents. I, I don't want you guys to be spending your hard-earned money on something that isn't going to make you a freelancer and definitely isn't going to make you a developer. You're going to learn web design at the end of this. And um, that's basically it. You're going to learn how to build a web page with no logic and... Uh, to put it in perspective, web developers make twice as much as web designers. And I, to say you're going to be a web designer at this may be a bit of a stretch as well. But that's, those are the skill sets you're learning. This could be maybe web design, not freelance web development. It's a complete lie that preys on people thinking that they're going to be work remote and make money. My two cents, guys. As always, if you want to join our Facebook group, Kotech and Caffeine, the link is in the description below. And if you want to support me, you can at patreon.com slash codingtutorials360. And if you've taken the Codecademy Ready course, I would love to interview you and talk to you about your experience. And even if you don't agree with me, I want to see your projects and I want to see your portfolio. I want to see what you got out of it. I want to hear about your experience because maybe, maybe you did get a good experience out of it. From what I see, it it's a little bit of a, a money grab, as I say. And, um, you know, we have one or two people in the comments below that agree with it that allegedly have gone through. But uh, hopefully I'll get to interview them in the future. But as always, guys, just continue your learning and uh, keep working hard. And it'll work out for you one way or the other. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching the video. If you're interested in coding boot camp, check out devmountain.com where housing is included in your price of tuition. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share, and support me on Patreon. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.